Hi everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5. So, let's continue where we left off and keep attacking Theodora. It looks like at least one city would be ours on the next turn. I can't quite take it on this one, but it should be easy on the next turn. Let's move a little bit closer. And artillery. That stupid Polynesian worker. Get out of the way! How rude is that? Alright, fortify. Also, I'll have to delay Oxford one turn, because we got six unreplaceable parts. Let's just do one turn of the castle construction, and then we'll switch back to Oxford. Also, Moscow is about to grow. We will probably drop into negative happiness after taking Constantinople. But I'll deal with it then. We shouldn't drop below minus 10, which is the important part. Now, are there any melee units behind Adrianople? I'm not seeing any, but that doesn't mean there's nothing inside the fog of war. Where do you think you're going? I don't think so, buddy. Can we shoot him with the crossbowman? Not quite, at least not on this turn. Alright, back to Oxford. Like so. I could finish that castle. I mean, one turn it doesn't really matter. We'll just finish the castle. Alright. Is it safe to take the city? I think so. But again, it's kind of hard to tell. It might not be. But let's take it anyway. If I lose one rifleman, that's not the end of the world. Alright, let's take it. And we're in the positives, nice. A museum, workshop, cathedral, a zoo. Yeah, that's not bad. I don't see any melee units. We should be safe then. Now, let's kill at least the cannon if possible. That should be easy enough. Like so. And I can't hit the Gatling gun, but we can move a little bit closer with everything. Come on, people, we're moving. Actually, I can take a shot with artillery. Like this. And one more. That one is too far away. Alright, looking good. Fortify. I can attack the Gatling gun, but I don't think I want to. Not right now. Yep, let's just move into our territory and we'll start attacking Constantinople soon enough. Another great general. We have a lot of great generals now. Maybe I should use one for that citadel near Antioch. But I don't need that aluminum right now. It can wait. Right, more improvements. Do we need more food around here? Maybe one more farm. Yeah, let's get one more farm. Or improve the aluminum. That sounds like a good plan. Alright. Well, looks like that's it. Not much else I can do. Fortify. Plus one population. And plus one population in Moscow. Alright, carry on then. And we got a landmark. Yep, that should be a landmark. Which city is going to work it? This one is fine. Alright. Looking good. Can we get better yields if we work it with Moscow? Well, kind of. Right, because that's a desert hill, isn't it? Yes, it certainly is. Okay, Moscow can work it then, that's fine. This looks okay. I kind of want this city to grow, despite our happiness issues. We need more population in here. So let's get at least one more pop before we capture Constantinople. Two turns. Yep, sounds good to me. Alright, next. Now I'm not interested. Guess why? Musicians Guild is almost done. Pocatello entered modern era. That's to be expected. Are we there yet? I like how Cahokia sent units all the way here. 
All right, let's assign some specialists. Looks good. And keep it like this. Yep. The city will still grow at reasonable rate. Kill the rifleman. And get some experience. And gold. We're up to 4,000 gold. Not bad. Now, Constantinople. First, let's get rid of that Gatling gun. And kill the engineer. If the engineer starts a manufactory, that would benefit me. I'm not sure if he will, but that's always a possibility. Alright, let's move closer with all that artillery. I don't necessarily want to move into city bombardment range yet. But I'd like to kill the Gatling gun at least. So, let's do that. And I want to be in Constantinople's range. So let's see. Yep, we can be in range. Like so. That's three shots on the next turn. I guess we want to be killing the Gatling gun on this turn. Which is fine. Yeah, I... No, I can't kill it. Let's just back up. And move in with the artillery. I don't see a lot of units that can attack me other than this one guy. Alright, looking good. Move a little bit closer. And one more rifleman. We are about to get replaceable parts. So we'll need to upgrade all the riflemen. But that's not exactly a problem. We have more than enough gold to do so. Alright, and let's keep exploring. Oh nice, extra growth. I suppose we should maximize that. Despite the happiness problem. It's not really a problem yet, but it will be after we take the city. Well, this city doesn't have much more food around it. But Moscow certainly does. It would be nice to get a little bit of extra population in Moscow. Let's just reassign all of this real quick. We'll work all the food tiles. Okay, 10 turns. Don't think we can do much better than that. Six turns. Okay, five turns. That seems reasonable. Alright, carry on. Five turns is fine. It will delay Oxford a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. So, finish replaceable parts and then railroad. I'd like to get Neuschweinstein, which shouldn't be too hard. I can always use that engineer for it. And I probably will, just to make sure we get that one there. And another city state, good. Yeah, let's kill that musician. And back to Constantinople. Oh, Theodora has great war infantry. Right. Well, I mean, that's not really a problem. Still, I should move away. And we need to kill that Gatling gun. Yep, we need to block the way with some melee units. Do something like this. And fortify. It will probably attack city-state units. But we'll see about that. One more artillery. Just move it slightly closer. More city growth, up to 8. Let's get more food still. I'd like to get at least 10 population in Vilno. Come on, use some of these engineers for manufactories. Thanks. It's not like she has anything better to do with them. And we got a unit from Belgrade. We got artillery, nice. Alright. Back to Antioch. Actually, crossbowmen can stay in there. And let's keep doing damage to Constantinople. Shouldn't take too long to capture the city. 
Yeah, maybe like two more turns and that's it. Yeah. And I can just capture it with the Lancer. The one problem is that she might have some privateers. So, it would almost make sense to capture that city to the south, wherever it is. There it is, Varna. I didn't want to wipe her out, but I'd like to keep all the buildings in Constantinople, if possible. So I think we should play around that. Cargo ship. 19 gold per turn is pretty good. Alright, let's get that aluminum. And next. Two more turns to get replaceable parts. We'll take some damage on that rifleman. The city-state is helping, so that's nice. Shaka wants to buy salt, sure. Will he sell citrus? Yes, he will, good. He's getting a lot of gold. 884 gold per turn. I think he's the richest sieve right now. Looks like he is, yeah. By a fairly significant margin, too. Can we get the creation of friendship yet? No, he still declined. Oh well, that's fine. So, Varna. I think we should take it. Or I can just peace out after I take Concert Napo. I assume she will negotiate. Alright, let's focus on Concert Napo then. But there's a great war infantry over there. Need to kill that guy. I probably can't kill him on this turn. Not quite, no. Do we want to block the way? He might use heal instantly or something like that. But at the same time, I don't want to lose my rifleman. We got a promotion, good. That's going to be... Oh yeah, plus one range. Nice. Let's keep exploring. And we got one more artillery. Let's just leave it like this. Even if he attacks the artillery, he can't kill any of them. And we have more than enough firepower. Come on, don't be shy. She didn't actually do anything? Yeah, she didn't do anything with the Great War Infantry. Didn't even move him out of the way. Alright. I mean, that's her problem, not mine. Let's back up slightly. And block the way with riflemen. And we can upgrade all the riflemen. Let's do that. Done. And we still got over 4000 gold. So this dude needs to die, obviously. I'm not going to just leave him there. And it looks like Constantinople might even be ours on the next turn. Yeah, I think so. We'll find out. I think we have enough firepower in range. Alright, next. Now, how far into the negatives will we drop? Not too much, I hope. But the city doesn't have any happiness wonders, unfortunately. So we are pretty much guaranteed to drop into the negatives. Shaka entered the modern era. Shaka is actually keeping up in science. That's usually not what happens with Shaka. Another great scientist. All right then. I'll keep him for now. And let's explore some more. Get the aluminum. And we got another great war infantry to kill. Yep, I actually have to kill him. Which is fine. More experience for us. I don't mind. Thanks for the experience, bro. And we can still attack the city? No. I think we should just move in with a few Great War Infantry. This guy has cover too. This guy also has cover too. Yep, let's just move in. And we can take the city on the next turn. More manufactories. And we should repair that farm to the south. As well as remove the road. Okay, looking good. Plus one population in Moscow. And Oxford is almost done. 
switch Moscow to food, uh, I mean to production, seven turns. I think we should, although getting 20 pop would be nice. Poznan is about to grow. Unfortunately, I can't buy any luxuries from anyone. And Polynesia is out of gold. Did he lose any cities? I don't think he did. Pocatello has great war bombers. His problem is that he only has three cities, four cities. Almost 5000 gold. You know, I could pretty much win this game through diplomatic victory if I wanted to. That would be quite doable. I'm already allied with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 city-states. I still need to make contact with some more. But diplomatic victory would be very much doable in this game if I wanted to go that route. I don't think I will because that's a pretty boring victory. But I'm just saying that it would be fairly easy to do that. It would be very easy to do that. Anyway, back to Constantinople. I think it's time. I do see a privateer over there. But we should be able to just peace out once we take the city. I don't want to retake it because then we lose buildings inside. Let's check if we actually have enough damage first. Yeah, we do have enough damage. Plus one range. Like so. Three more shots, right? This is enough damage. Yeah. Okay, it's ours. Minus seven. Could have been worse. I can live with that. And now we'll just peace out. I don't think she will pay, but we can always ask. No, she will not pay. Okay, whatever. We're done. I don't really want to wipe her out. I leave her with one city. I can use that city for trade routes if I want to. That might be useful in the future, to get some safe trade routes. Anyway, the important part is that we're done. Now we just have to handle the happiness. I'm not getting dissidents anymore, so I suppose that's nice. And we'll get a new policy in seven turns. I'll use that policy for happiness. We can go for happiness from castles and such. That's probably... Wait, no, we already picked that up, right? Yes, we did. We can get happiness from National Wonders. That's the one I was thinking about. That should be worth at least six happiness. I think we have six National Wonders right now. Something like that. More gold, because, you know, clearly we need more gold. And our next target is going to be Pocatello, but it looks like I might have to wait for some anti-air. We could probably get anti-air quite easily. Because I got what? Three great scientists? Yeah, we got three great scientists. And we just need ballistics for some anti-aircraft guns. Should be pretty easy. I might just pop them all. But I'm not in a huge rush to declare war on Pocatello just yet. We can focus on our happiness for a bit. Not that I can actually do a whole lot about it. We are just basically waiting for the next policy and that's it. Not interested. And Oxford is done. I can just buy a research lab instantly in Warsaw. That's what we're going to do. Broadway for Pakal. Are we there yet? And yeah, Byzantium has denounced us. I can't imagine why. Logistics. We got what? Three artillery units with logistics now? Not bad. Might have been four. Anyway. I can always build some arsenals for happiness. It's not exactly good value. Plus one happiness for 300 production. But it is an option, and we can do it. I suppose we'll build a few. It's always a little bit of happiness. Even if it's slightly inefficient in terms of production. Oh, and hey, we took some oil. That's going to be useful in the future. Alright then. Oh, minus 11. That's not so good. Can we get a garrison in any more cities? 
No, we got a garrison everywhere. I think one of our trades expired. Yes, it did. With Shaka? Wales for cotton. Yeah, okay, we are fine. Will he sell any other luxury? I don't think he's allied with any city-states. No. Okay, that's fine. Can we get any other luxuries? Oh, I don't okay. think so. Yeah, I will not get a fair deal for this. It's technically an option. Does he want any strategic resources? No. And what about Pocatello? Nope. So... I could technically buy a luxury. It's not necessarily worth it. Ooh, embargo. Well, I bet he doesn't want that. Let's see if we can get a decent deal. 10 gold per turn? No? How is there no way to make it work? Really? Okay, 15 gold. Wasn't he willing to make a trade just a moment ago? Yeah, he's asking for two luxuries and World Congress vote, coal, oil and aluminum. Yeah, that would be 20, 25 gold per turn. It might still be worth it. I'm making 197. No, not you. Let's try again. So... I could give him some oil or aluminum. We got 20. So that would be acceptable. It's not like that deal will last forever. Will he pay more for international games? Or for the embargo vote? Okay, he will pay more for the embargo vote, as expected. Let's sell some strategic resources. See if we can get a decent deal here. Like this. I don't think I want to sell coal, although I technically could. How much coal do we have? 14. Yeah, okay, we can sell some coal as well. 5 coal. 5 aluminum. Don't embargo. And we'll have to give him some gold. Okay, he really wants our other luxuries, doesn't he? 15 gold per turn? Gems. I'm not giving you gems. Remove that. 11 gold. I would pay up to 20. 16. Let's just go up one gold at a time. 17. 18. 19. Okay, screw you. I'm not giving you more than that. That took a while. <laughs> and we didn't get anything out of it. That's okay. It happens. I'll give him more gold if we drop below minus 10, but it doesn't look like we will actually drop below minus 10. Another farm. And let's find a few more city-states, because I've not made contact with all of them yet. Remove that silly road section. We don't need it. Alright, next. I just need the next policy. So we only have to wait five turns. Pretty sure I'll get at least five or six happiness from that. I can't be bothered to count all the national wonders right now. But that's the only real option to get happiness from a tier 1 tenet in autocracy right now. Oxford is done. So that's going to be plastics. So I'm actually going to buy research labs in more than just Warsaw. It will secure our science lead. We'll get one in Moscow, Poznań, Warsaw and maybe even Kraków. We have more than enough gold to do that. And pretty damn good income. I think I'm already a tech lead by like one tech. But this will secure our lead even more. At least I won't have to worry too much about Pakal and Pocatello. I still consider Pakal to be a threat. Because he tends to snowball 
in the late game. It happens quite frequently. And I can't attack him just yet. I will have to attack Pocatello next. Because I don't actually have direct access to Pakal's territory. Right. We'll definitely get a research lab in Poznań too. Don't know about Kraków yet. I might just hard build a research lab in Kraków. I'd like to keep some gold at least. <laughs> One more specialist in Warsaw. And that's almost 200 science from Warsaw alone. Not bad. Yep, this looks fine. That's almost 700 science. We can get 700 actually. 695. Alright, this looks fine. Anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.